This right here is every popular clipper created, and surprisingly, you get these for a quarter of the price using this website everybody's talking about called Timu. I'm gonna be comparing the real versus fake stuff from Timu, but the real question is, how is the performance and how is the quality of every single fake one? The first clipper I'm gonna be looking up is, of course, a Babyliss FX. It's the powerful metal hair clipper for men, stainless steel blade, 2000 BAH battery professional hair. It is 2474, this looks exactly the same, and like the same size so we're gonna be adding that into the cart i found some low pros some fake low pros on timu and these right here go for about 120 dollars give you the price you will probably be so shocked bro but these are 1484 from 31 dollars make it 53 percent off guys this looks insane i'm definitely ordering these add it to cart next clipper is the tpob and i'm very skeptical about this one because it looks exactly the same i would order the green or the red one but the orange one just makes it right 3098 41 percent off what the? Bro, what? 4.3 stars with 3,558 reviews. That's insane, dude. Next up is actually the JRL Clipper. And this one, this one is the one that has me like thinking. So if you look at the actual JRL packaging, which is what I have right in front of me, it has a bunch of Chinese letters around it everywhere. And this is the actual package, bro. Like what? These might even come with English writing and these have Chinese ones. So $27.98 for this JRL right here. And boom, it's just added into the cart. Next up, we have the Magic Clip. It was my first professional clipper that I was just so, it makes me feel type of way. It's $17.99, let's add those into the cart. This is iconic. You guys know, they just made it into a freaking wireless version. What the hell, bro? USB charging to $15.29, added to cart. Guys, next up, we have the Andu Shaver. Guys, if you were barbering around 10 to seven years ago, you guys know this right here. It's the only shaver in the market that ever Everybody was copying. Everybody was like, dude, the Andrew Shaver is like the best, the best. This right here is iconic. $12.97. Let's add on to the freaking cart. So now we have the Rivite Clipper. And the reason I got this is just to complete the entire set, the Andis set. I did find them on here for $31. They're made from the same exact manufacturer as like that freaking Wall Magic one. I'm going to be ordering the pink version of this because it just looks cool. Okay, so now we got the GTX trimmer from Andis. They're $16.54. It's exactly the same color as back then. Not black, but I like this right here because everybody wanted this freaking trimmer right here and now they're selling it for damn like close to $15. I'm ordering for sure. These are $400 and I found one for $14.49. Bro, no, <laughs> I'm ordering this. You guys, $191.57 is actually not bad at all for all of these products. Keep in mind, it's $1,560 for every single one of the clippers you saw at the beginning of this video. These are probably the same manufacturers. I don't know. Let's get to reviewing these in person and see what it's all about. <laughs> What? There's so much going on. So this is the Timu or fake version of the Babyliss FX. And I would say they feel pretty nice. This is the difference right there. The FXs are so, they're a little taller. I like the feeling of them. It feel powerful, 100%. Okay, so as for low pros, I would say the fakes are so much bigger. The low pros seem a little bit more heavier, a little bit more original, to be honest. They feel a little better. This is more powerful. They just win. This fake right here definitely feels like fake. Next up, the J. JRL Clipper. I'm not too sure if you guys could see, but they're exactly the same. JRL, what? Okay, so the only difference is the gold up here. This one has gold. This is a real one. Don't get confused. The real one actually has this LED logo right here. Which now, what I will say is the JRL does have two different power settings. It has this setting right there, and then it has different RPMs right there. So that's what I will take out of the JRL, and the logo is actually very bright. Also get a little LCD right here telling you how much battery life is left, which is pretty cool from the real ones. These right here do have digital display, get the percentage, not the time here, just like the real ones. They click like the real ones too, which, oh God, I'm actually excited to test these out. Now it's the magic clip, I'm excited for this one. Oh, we got Hiena, make it better. Is it the same size? On top of that, we do get an LED right here on the real one and then the fake one is right here so let's turn on the magic clip first traditional original must have let's turn on these okay these feel like a good motor the clips definitely like give that clicky sound as soon as you turn them on boom wait come on you can't go wrong with these. They feel like good RPMs. All right, so now let's go on to another wall product again. We got the trimmer. Okay, so first of all, the real one is actually way bigger than our fake one right here. And I would say 
Oh my god, why does it feel? Bro, the power on this feels good. Bro, what? I think I got this for like $15, guys. This is actually very zero gap. Next up, we have the TPOB versus the fake TPOB, guys. This blade on the TPOB is automatically better. Maybe the level, nope, they're exactly the same. Bro. Bro, these are exactly the same. I'm not gonna lie, they feel the same. This is just shinier and this is matte. Dude, what? I'm looking at it straight up. That's exactly the same. And this one has a digital dash. This one doesn't. Bro, just add the digital dash on the TPOB and it's a better freaking clipper. Wait, what? They gave me an extra low pro. What? I want you to take a look at this clipper right here. It feels very good in hand. We're gonna turn this on. Oh man, it didn't come with battery. Okay, so now we have the fake version of the Revite or whatever, but this feels a bit heavier. Now, it has a digital dash on the side, which is pretty freaking cool. So let's go on to the trimmer version itself. This is the fake one right here. This looks really nice. All right, so right off the bat, the Andis one. Feels good, looks good. I actually love this. If we lay this on here, it does come with a stand, and the stand is nice and heavy, so I like that a lot, guys. This is $15. That it looks exactly the same. Mm, you can tell it doesn't have the same RPMs. This is way better. I'm gonna do a little test on you guys. Can you guess which one the real one or the fake one is? They look too similar, but if you guess this one right here, this is the real one. This is the fake one. Guys, this looks too freaking identical. Let's take off the caps, turn this on. Super powerful. You can tell the RPMs are not fully there, but they're right there with it. Let's go on with the final product. You guys know I love Dyson blow dryers. It looks too good, brother. Bro, what? $15, $400. That is actually magnetic. Dyson is known for the... Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> this is the fake version of that tip. It fits on the real one. $15, $400. Let's turn these on in three, two, one. No way. Okay. Okay, so I hope I don't get in trouble for making this video, but let's go actually test out the real versus fake in real life. This is a real one, obviously. It is kind of zero gap. This is all stock, guys. This is the way it cuts when it's completely zero gap. Let's go on with this test right here. But let's give you a little swipe. Oh, okay. Guys, it sounds like I'm mowing a lawn with this right here. Look at this. Oh, that sounds horrible. I did forget to mention it, but we are gonna drop test every single one of them, starting with the Babyless FX's. In three, two. Oh! Survive! Look at this! It broke already? Yeah, it broke already. Okay, so will the Babyless work? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. That's why I'm Team Babyless right there. <laughs> so now we have the low pros right here. Let's see if it hits. It sounds like it's not doing anything. No, 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 bro, it's hitting. That was a fake one. Guys, let's go on with the real one. Fake one, maybe is a bit more zero gap. I think we get the point. Guys, these are pretty much similar. Let's try out the durability test. Blade first in three, two, one. It was at 99%, now it's at 53% battery. Oh shit. Does a fake one work? You guys could obviously tell it did. It turned on whenever I dropped them. Now, does this one work right here? Again, perfect. The whole plasticky low pro thing does work for both of them. I would say these are a pass. Babyless, of course, the fake one didn't pass. Timu didn't really get it right. They got it right with the low pros. Let's go on with the next one. Next, let's go with the right here, JRL. Boom, exactly the same freaking color. Let's go with the lever closed. Boom, let's say I'm fading it up like that. And then I'm opening up the lever. Really nice, it doesn't make no like really bad crown. Good clipper, I really actually like JRL, so. What do you think about this one? That one feels smooth. Feels smooth? Yeah. Not too much rattling on your in your ear or anything? Okay, the fake version right there. <laughs> Copiones, brother. They look exactly, exactly the, the same, same okay. bro. Lever closed. Not a bad clipper at all, bro. Bro, what in the world? Okay, I know the JRLs fit my freaking guards, but do these? Stop. Oh, wait, they do. <laughs> like, you could literally just fade up with any of these. Time for the durability test. I don't know why I'm breaking these clippers, but I really hope my JRL doesn't break because, again, I like it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, fuck. Is it the real one? This one broke. It's the real one. No! <laughs> That's true. So far, all. Oh. Magic clip on the back. Which one is the real one? Damn, this one. This one. No. <laughs> they look exactly the same. These fit. 
Yep, no fade blades, so they're not gonna fade as much. They do work though, so if you wanted to get a $20, oh my God, it actually cuts really good. Wow, bro, what? If I had to say something about this clip right here is that it is comparable to the freaking magic clip right there. So let's test out. Ah, this, this automatically feels so much. This one's nice. This has a better RPM. I would say the blade is so much better. Like once you get into the fading process, which I'm not gonna get into because it's just gonna take too long, you'll automatically see the blade performing and everything about the magic clip is legendary in my case. All right, so we're gonna test by feel. I'm not gonna cheat on this one, nothing. Automatically tell, bro. Don't turn it on. Okay, I got you. I started with the magic clip, bro. This is a fake one. They're really testing three, two, one. They're both sturdy, bro. Magic, magic is good. Did I get survived? Yeah. Yes, bro, the blade is just off to what? Definitely surviving off of this. The metal is what break. These right here. Every freaking legendary barber has used these. Come on. You know what's up. So, let's go on. Let's try to remove all this bulk right here because tailors are known to de-bulk like nothing. You know, it's pretty crazy. What? Yesterday that I got a haircut at that different salon for a video. She did this line right here. I'm kind of f***ed up right now, right? With that? Yes. Wow, really nice, okay. I want to feel the other ones, okay. Cakes have two different levels. What? These are zero gap, bro. This is a true test. He has coarse hair down below and nothing. It's just cutting like butter. Test these out on the other side. Okay, nah, they don't compare. Okay, so detailers on the performance end. I think they, they take it for sure. Even if this one has two different levels of RPMs or a power, this one right here definitely tops it. Again, it is a bit bigger right here. So if you prefer a bigger trimmer, please tell me I'll obviously it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, nothing happened to this one. Again, that little rattle. It's just the bottom. Damn, bro, not even a scratch, bro. Not a scratch, bro. These are intact, baby. Next up, will you look at these? What do you have to say? Bro, they look exactly the same, bro. If someone walks into the shop, they don't know whether it's a real or fake one because they look exactly the same. They're like, oh, shoot, did TPOB just drop a orange one? <laughs> oh my God, bro. I'm gonna be completely honest. Performance is exactly the same. I, I just broke it to you guys. But what really makes a difference is a blade. In tres, dos, uno. Yep. Which one? Oh, the fake one broke. Is it a real one? Eee, both of them, bro. Hey, TPOB survived. But the blade is like very off. Like if I were to cut someone up right now, they yeah, I would cut into your fucking score right there. And it's completely fucked up. Fake broke. This one broke. Anyways. On to the next one. Check this out. We got this very skinny Revite. This is their new clipper right here. So it hasn't really been tested out. Let me test it out on you real quick. Cuts good, performance good. Like the feel of it. It has this grippy thing right here that will probably attract a bunch of hair, but it's not bad. Really nice. Oh, um, I'm just freehanding everything and it does it like nothing. I like this one right here, but does this one compare? Let's see. Mm, doesn't cut as good. They feel way different than the fake ones. Obviously, you're not gonna get the same quality. This cuts well enough. Okay, so will I say this lives up to the Andes Revite? What I will do is grab these together and just throw them out the door because I'm enjoying this durability test and I think they both survived. This is half plastic, half metal. Half plastic, half... Wait, wait, this is... That's pure metal, no? Yeah, this is all metal. Wow, and this is perfectly intact. Didn't lose power. Feels good, looks good. Perfect, bro. Okay, you get survived? Yeah. The blade is a little off right there, but it's really nothing. Like, it still works. It's still fully functional. Any one of these clippers, you could probably just slap on a blade and you're good to go. So now we got the GTX. Again, I must remind you guys, everybody wanted this to come out a long time ago. They never had them. And it's finally released them. It's not fair. Why? They could have dropped one like 10 years ago. This is what everybody wanted for $15, bro. This is a fake one. This looks exactly the way the GTX looked back then. And then we got the new. So let's test out the real one first. Oh, dude. Oh, come on. Yeah, it cuts. Damn, this is actually really nice. I haven't tried a Nandis clipper in a minute. I had these, though. I gave them away. These grab hair, and they, like, work for you, bro. Next up, fake GTX. Mm, it might feel good, but it's because it's... It's uh, not cutting shit. It's not doing its job. This one... Trash. This one's the one that's let me down the most, but does it hit, though? Nah, yeah. nah. I can feel it. Yeah. $15. Real GTX, though. <laughs> Literally the same way. It works, the blades off though. And then, everybody's gonna be so pissed and throwing around machines. Guys, this is what we get paid to do. I'm sorry. Like, seriously. Wow. Every single Andes machine has survived. Not even the blades off. Okay, so now we got the real Andes shaver right here. I'm branded as a fake, obviously. So, let's see if it shaves. Easy. Easy. Here's the real one. 
So this shaver has always been OP, bro. Like every single one of these Clippers trimmer shavers do the exact same thing, guys. They all do the exact same thing. Now, the only thing is you're paying for durability. The way we showed you guys is everything either like kind of breaks on the fake one and the real one actually survives. One, two, go. Oh, you were asking for that. Damn, that shit's still running? Oh, one blade for that. Yeah, Which fake one. Real one survives. Here are the Dyson blow dryers. I will say they look exactly the same. They feel the same. Guys, if you have ever seen this colorway for the Dyson, I obviously have a different colorway. I'm not breaking these. These are the only ones I'm not breaking. I can get unlimited clippers, not unlimited blow dryers from Dyson, right? So what I will say is they have the same heat setting. Boom. This one probably feels hotter. Yeah, <laughs> you're like moving away. It, it's hotter. Now I'm gonna cool it down, okay? Okay, yeah, real one definitely is gonna cool. Come on, what about fake? Yeah, not hot. I pressed the cool button. Okay, so now that we reviewed every single clipper, trimmer, shaver, and blow dryer, that's been it for me. What the? F